Hello, I am Max. Welcome to my channel. Recently, I had a project that needed to distribute an Android app, and I didn't want to go through the Play Store listing on Google Play, and I didn't want to write my che update checking logic or have users check on GitHub. Luckily, AppDroid offers tools for setting up a repository, so we can distribute our app on AppDroid after users have added a repository. Let's get started. So if we go to AppDroid.org docs and scroll all the way down, you can see documents for setting up an AppDroid app repo. Let's click on that and we will follow this article in this video. So to make this easier for me, I will do this on an LXC container in Proxmox. So let's create a LXC container called FDroid repo. We will use a Ubuntu 24.04. This disk size will be 20 gig, uh, which is more than enough for demonstration. Let's give it two cores and one gig of memory. Turn on DHCP and DNS and finish. So first is to set up the server tools. Fdroid offers a package called Fdroid Server. As I'm using Ubuntu, I can just run apt-get install Fdroid Server. Okay, the package is installed. Now let's go back and create a folder called FDroid. And run FDroid in it. Okay, now let's grab an APK file from GitHub Gearance and go to release grab latest and grab the grab the APK file that's built for all architectures. Okay. Let's open this folder and run a Python. Set up a temporary HTTP server. And see, IP address is one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot two four nine. Change this address and copy this link and let's go back to here into repo nothing here and get the file okay now let's run fdroid fdroid update Okay, you can see APK file was successfully validated. Okay, and now I think the files are ready. And to serve these files, we need a HTTP server. For that, we need to use Nginx. Let's install that. Now the Nginx is installed, let's check where the default folder for Nginx is. Site enable default uh, folder is for www html. Let's go to r. Okay. 
Let's check. Let's change. Uh, change something. Just make sure we got the right folder. Okay. Uh, that's the IP address is. 192.168.1.140 copy and go here yeah we see the one okay now let's make a folder called f droid and f droid in it no 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 we can just copy the files from f droid and copy everything here Okay, now everything is set up and then copy it here. Now let's go to what's the IP address is 192.168.1.140. Okay, it's F Droid Repo. Okay, okay, now we see our repo here. And what if we want to change the repo name or the URL? Remember, we can change the config file. Let's see. Where is the name? Repo name, we can see that. The IP address is... I think we have copied, yes. Let's call this FJ Max Troy Pole Safe. Okay, run the F Troy command. Troy update. Fresh, and it's updated. Now let's try add the repo from our phone. Okay, now I have my phone, and let's open F Droid, and go to Settings, Repositories, and hit the I Add icon, and we can type in the URL manually, or we can just scan the QR code. Okay, QR code scan, and let's hit Add Repository. Okay, now let's see, let's install Gearance, and install. Okay, let's allow install on no source, yes, and install again. and we can see now it's installed okay that's it for this video i will see you in the next one